Uh, uh, uh. Don't turn that dial. This is the right station if you want to hear about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the moon. Well, Christmas night will soon be here. And I know you children will want to hear of Jonathan Thomas and the man in the moon, and the talking horse will find Santa soon. Of course, you remember what happened, no doubt. But if you don't, well... It's all about the wicked squibobliums who stole Santa Claus. They're going to be punished for breaking the laws. And poor old Santa is sad as can be, because he's got to get home right away, don't you see, to fill up his pack and start on his way to reach all good children before Christmas Day. But don't you worry, I'm sure he'll be found. So sit very still and don't make a sound. The man in the moon and Gorgonzola the horse, and Jonathan Thomas too, of course, have traveled far on a dangerous road, past the dragon's cave and the home of the toad. And, oh, my goodness, that wicked old witch who rules o'er the land of Rumpelstitch has cast her spells and brewed her magic. And I'm sure the story would be quite tragic if it wasn't because of the good fairy queen who always spoils the old witch's scheme. But once, in the nightmare forest deep, Jonathan Thomas fell sound to sleep. It was the old witch's fault, for she worked a spell. And you may be sure that it would have worked well, but the good fairy queen knew a wonderful charm. It woke the little boy up and saved him from harm. Then they saved the life of the little elf king, who claimed to be king of any old thing. So he gave them a key to the doors and the wall and said choose the right door to enter. That's all. They tried to be careful, but the wall was so long... At the door that they entered was the door that was wrong. And wherever they looked, they saw mirrors so grand, and it turned out to be it was looking glass land. Then a very fine guard took them straight to the palace, where they soon met the ruler whose name was Queen Alice. And they soon discovered that she was their friend, for she gave them a whistle that would help them no end. When the little boy blew it, it so changed his size... He grew tall as a giant before all their eyes. And now, let us see what has happened since then. For here's where the story begins again. For goodness gracious sakes to Jiminy Crickets and Scoosh. You growing higher and higher and higher, Jonathan Thomas. Whatever shall you do? For goodness sake, if you please. How am I to stop growing, your majesty? There's no need for alarm, for you have the charm. And you'll stop growing in a trice. For I said to you, all you need to do is to blow the whistle twice. And then you'll grow small. And you'll continue to fall till you can't be seen at all at all. Goodness gracious. <laughs> what a wonderful thing to do. I'm bigger than a giant, I bet. Even bigger than my daddy. Now that I know I can grow smaller whenever I wish, I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> How's the weather up there, Jonathan Thomas? It's colder than two times two. And it's snowing a little bit. And I can see ever and ever so far. Don't move around for gracious sakes. Or you'll step on us just as sure as sure can be. And all that would be left would be just a grease spot. This is a very wonderful, Your Majesty. I'll bet the bad squeebubble wouldn't be afraid of me when they see how big I am. That's the purpose of my plan, for I want to help just all I can. For what would Christmas ever be without old Santa and a Christmas tree? And think how sad all the girls and boys if he didn't come around with his bag of toys. We're mighty grateful to you, Your Majesty Queen Alice, and we're mighty glad that we came to your palace. I think I'm getting a little bit tired of being so tall now, if you please. So maybe I'd better blow the whistle twice and grow small again. Very well, if you choose. You've nothing to lose. Just blow it twice, and then in a trice, you'll start to grow short once more. But when you arrive at your four feet five, blow it again or you'll sink through the floor. Look out, everybody! Because I'm ready now to go short. Be careful now, Jonathan Thomas, and don't grow too short. I won't, really. Now, all ready. One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four to go. 
My gracious to goodness, here he comes. Oh, my goodness. I'm growing shorter, faster than two times two and three times three. Oh, I wish my daddy could see me now. That he'd be surprised. He <laughs> wouldn't know what in the world to do. Be sure to stop, Jonathan Thomas. I won't forget, if you please. Look out, everybody. Here I come. I'm growing shorter and shorter and shorter. Here I am almost am. Blow the whistle, Jonathan Thomas. Hurry, quicker than quick. <whistles> oh, my goodness. That was the most fun I ever had. I like being a giant, only I wouldn't like being a giant all the time. Because I like being myself better. Now that you know how the trick is done, promise not to tell even a single one. I promise, Your Majesty, if you please. I won't tell. Of course not. And now, if you don't mind, and I know it's not kind, but but the hands of the clock do show that you mustn't wait for, for it's growing late. It's time that, that you both should go. Yes, it is, isn't it? We've got to hurry, too. If we're going to rescue Santa Claus in time for Christmas... You've been very kind, Your Majesty. And we are as grateful as grateful can be. Yep. And if there's ever a way that we can repay, just let us know and you will see. Thank you, sir. It's very sweet. And I hope that again we'll very soon meet. Now, I'll wish you luck on your way and hope for a visit some other nice day. Goodbye, Master Jonathan Thomas. Don't forget about your promise. I won't, Your Majesty. Goodbye. 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 Oh, down the road we go again, you and I, two very brave men. For I'm as brave as you, and you're as brave as I. We ramble along, singing our song, and never, never say die. Oh, down the road we go again, you and I, two very brave men. <laughs> oh, magic mirror on the wall. Open your eyes and tell me all. <laughs> Where on the road is Jonathan Thomas, who is trying so hard to keep his promise? Oh, mighty witch of Rumpelstitch. They've left the looking glass land. And they travel along as they sing a song with magic at their command. <laughs> Their magic is small and doesn't matter at all. <laughs> Against the magic that I shall brew, <laughs> I'll change into a tree. <laughs> Just you wait and see. <laughs> I'll show them a thing or two. <laughs> From what you've said, you're out of your head. It's so very plain to see. You may brew your brew, but I'm telling you... It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, just you wait and see, and stop talking back to me. <laughs> I'll change to a tree before you count three along the path they roll. <laughs> and when they arrive, if they're still alive, they'll wish that they'd stayed home. <laughs> when they see the game that I've played, <laughs> they'll forget where they're going. Or what they've gone after <laughs> when they walk into my shade. <laughs> if you don't mind me saying, this game that you're playing is risky as it can be. You'll no doubt be happy, but you'll also be sappy if you insist on being a tree. <laughs> you think you're smart, but I'll play my part. I'll stop their foolish notions. They'll have me to thank when their minds go blank because of my magic potions. <laughs> Little Jonathan Thomas, I'll show you how I keep my promise. Little Jonathan Thomas. <laughs> We go again, you and I, two very brave men. For I'm as brave as you, and you're as brave as I. 
We'll ramble along, singing our song, and never, never say die. <laughs> That's right. Never, never say die. Oh, Mr. Man in the Moon, we'll never say die. Oh, but I'll have to say I'm as tired as two times two. Oh, maybe we could stop and rest a little while in the shed of that tree over there. That's a very good idea, Jonathan Thomas. We'll stop and rest for a minute or two. Yes, sirree, Bob. <laughs> That's what we'll do. There's nothing better than I can see than to rest in the shade of that old tree. Come on, Jonathan Thomas. Hurry up! <laughs> My goodness, there they go. And that's just what the wicked old witch wanted them to do. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Once they get into the shade of that old tree, which is really the witch in disguise, they'll lose their memory and forget where they're going and all about poor old Santa Claus. Oh, my gracious, what will happen next? I can hardly wait for the next story about Jonathan Thomas to find out. Oh, I won't forget to listen. And you won't either, will you? I should say none. <laughs> 